Hi guys! The other day I was going to test a transformer and this kind of transformer has exposed leads and that's no good in electronics. In electronics, 60 volts is already high voltage. 34, 35 is enough to burn a semiconductor to, to blow a voltage regulator. So 120, 240 is a very high voltage in the workbench. With electronics guys, we always try to cover that. High voltage is for the electricians, not for us. So, my main problem was I didn't know if my transformer was in short circuit or open circuit. If it is in open, I don't mind. If it is in short, I'm in trouble. I don't want to burn the fuse, I don't want to jump the breakers or to get fire on my workbench. What we always do is we build something that we call the serial bulb circuit. The serial bulb circuit is just a serial lamp. I will need the plug, electrical plug, some wires, the bulb itself, and a socket, an outlet. Very important guys, keep in mind, keep the right polarization. Why? Because if there is voltage in the chassis of the equipment you are trying to test, you don't want to find out with your hands. So keep the right polarization on it. What kind of bulb do we use? We must use the kind that is incandescent or the halogen. We do not use the lead or the fluorescent. Why? Because they have very high resistance and it is not going to work. We need to transfer 80-75% of the voltage to the load, to the device under test the equipment we are trying to review or, or to test. 20%, 25% of the voltage will be on the lamp. If the device under test is in short circuit, all the voltage will be on the lamp, the light will be on and nothing else will happen. I always use 40 watts, but that's not a rule. The point is, uh, it depends on the load. So I have different kind of uh, bulbs. I have 25 watts, 40, 50, 75, and 100 for all my tests. Easy to build? Yes. Important? Sure. We always think we need a workbench, fancy oscilloscope, wonderful digital multimeter we can get in the local market, a variable power supply, and we never think about this kind of equipment that is more important than anything else in the workbench. It's the way that we ensure to make the right test. So it's the first equipment you must have for your test in the electronics laboratory, even if you are in the repairing business for your workshop or in the hobby or designing to make the fire test of whatever you are building. Now that we know that, just to give you an example, audio amplifiers. Audio amplifiers, most of them they are made of transistors in push-pull configuration. That's a balance. If something goes wrong with one transistor, the damage will be catastrophic in all the components around. Sometimes we buy the transistor and we change the parts that uh, we found out they will burn or open or whatever and we cannot find the origin of the problem. If we didn't find the origin of the problem, when we place the audio amplifier again to the electricity, the damage will be catastrophic again. So what professionals do is they use the serial bulb circuit and if something goes wrong, the light will be on and nothing else will happen. It gives them chance to check again and to find the problem and to replace it. In that way, we will not ruin our shopping day, our budget, and our repairing day. Good advice, never replace the bad transistor. Always replace the partner. What professionals do, they never accept the partner as it is from the uh, electronics component shop or the supplier. They take the transistor, they put it in a curb tracer device, and they make sure they will match the partner in order to keep that balance. That was the advice for the day, the serial bulb circuit, something we must build. 
In my case, I use this kind of things I bought in the ele electric shop. You can use electrical enclosures, screw everything upward on a wall, wherever it's safe to you. You don't have to build a Frankenstein. Make something nice and cute. Easy to make. What I did here was I just cut the wire from the switch to the outlet and I make a loop from the switch to the other outlet and return to the original point it should go. And that's it. Easy and simple. That was the advice for today. Make the serial bulb circuit because you need it. It's the most important thing you must have in your work workbench, even if you are repairing, hobby or designing. Thanks by watching the video. See you next time.